Hello everyone, in today's video I will show you two different ways to make a super solid granny square, seamless and with no gaps. For the first method we start with a slip knot and we are going to make five chain one, two, three, four and five. We are going to slip stitch into the first one that we made. and we created a ring we're going to put in this ring our first double crochet my first double crochet is a single crochet and one chain this count as a stitch one more double crochet Now we are going to make a treble or triple crochet. So the triple crochet is a yarn over twice. Insert your hook, pick up a loop. You have four loops on your hook. Yarn over, close two. You have a three. Yarn over, close two yarn over again and close the last two now we are going to make three double crochet one two and three Now again, another treble, yarn over twice, close two, two, and two. Again, three double crochet. Another treble, three more double crochet, and our last treble. Yarn over twice, now here when we started we had only two double crochet so we had one more double crochet and we finish our first row to close our work we are going to slip stitch on that chain on top of the single crochet that we made just right here in this way and we have our little square now to continue on you just make it this loop loose we are going into the next stitch this one we insert our hook from the back in this way now we pick up this loop and we put it on our hook and we pull through the back in this way and that's how we're going to have an invisible 
seam. Now we go back into the same stitch and we make a single crochet and one chain. This it will be how we always start our round. Now here we have our treble which is the corner. So into the corner we are going to make our increases. Our increases from, from now on it will be always on top of our treble. If you don't recognize your treble, if you are a beginner, you can put a stitch marker here, 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 and here. And our increase it will be two double crochet, one treble, two double crochet into the same stitch in this way. One, two, into the same, a treble, and two more, double crochet into the same stitch. And we have our corner. Now here between, in this row between corners, we have a three stitches. So in this three, we are going to make a three double crochet. And the next corner, which is the treble that we made, we're going to make the same increase, two double crochet, one treble, two double crochet into the same stitch. Two, now the treble, and two more. and we created another corner. So you continue in this fashion until the end of the row and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of the second round and now we are going to close our work which will be always the same for each round we make. On top of the single crochet in that chain we are going to slip stitch in this way then we are going to insert our hook into the next stitch from the back then we pick up our loop and we put it on our hook and we pull through the back in this way. Now we can start again our third row. We are going to go back into the same stitch and we make a single crochet. One chain. This is our first double crochet. Here before the corner we have one more stitch so we are going to make a double crochet. Into the corner here where we have our treble we make our increase so yarn over we make two double crochet one treble two double crochet into the same stitch this is the pattern that you're going to follow for as many rows you like it you always increase in this way. The only things that change of course are the stitches that they are between the corner. For example in this third row you shall have seven stitches in between corners. And we continue 
with our double crochet. I'm going to finish this round and I will meet you there. I'm at the end of row 3 and total we shall have 48 stitches. I'm going to show you one more time how we close and how we start again the row, which is always the same. So on top of our single crochet in that chain we slip stitch into the next stitch we insert the hook from behind pick up a loop and pull through the back in this way and now we can start it again so basically what you're going to do you can make as many rounds as you like you can make it bigger as you like you just follow all the time the same pattern in the corner you're going to increase in the same way each time I'm gonna make one more round and I show you how we close the granny I'm at the end of row 4 that's how it looks like and now we can cut our yarn and make an invisible join I'm going to use a yarn needle here where we have our single crochet and that chain we're not going in this one we're going into the next stitch from the back we insert our needle then into that stitch where this thread come from we are going to insert again our needle and we are going to adjust and make it similar to the others in this way now we can weave in the end or hide in our tail And then we cut the yarn and we make a knot. That's how it looks like. The second method to make a super solid granny square, seamless and without any gaps, is pretty much the same pattern except for the start. So I'm going to show you how to start we are going to make a magic ring this way inside the magic ring we are going to make 16 double crochet the first double crochet it will be a single crochet in one chain and then we continue with the double crochet until we have 16 I have my 16 double crochet now we can close the ring into the chain on top of our single crochet we slip stitch in this way now we do like we did before into the next stitch we go from the back of our stitch we pick up that loop and we pull through the back in this way now the pattern is three 
double crochet one increase but we're going to start with the two the third one we're going to add at the end of this round so we go back into the same stitch we make a single crochet one chain this is our first double crochet we make one second now we make our increase in this stitch we make two double crochet into the same stitch one treble into the same stitch and two more double crochet into the same stitch and we create our first corner now we are going to work three double crochet into the next three stitches two and three and again another increase into the same stitch we're going to make two double crochet one treble and two double crochet and we have our second corner you continue in this fashion through the end of this round and i will meet you there i'm almost at the end if we did everything all right we should have one more stitch after the last increase because we started with the two but we need three double crochet so i'm going to make my last double crochet and i'm going to join with a slip stitch like we usually do in this way and we have our square this is another way to make a super solid granny just change the start of the square then you're going to continue exactly the same like we did for the first method i hope you like this video and it was useful to you if it's so please give me a thumbs up thank you for watching i'll see you next time bye